Nation. I like to call this the girl power segment. Yes. We have with us the wonderful Debbie Derryberry, Lori Allen, Kari Walgren, and the hot pain deliciousness, Aaron Fitzgerald. You guys are amazing women in your own right. And one thing I adore about each of you is that you're so great about empowering yourself, but you're also great about empowering other women in this business and building them up and not getting into that typical rant, 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 right? Hey, so, well, thank you. Well. That's you, Chuck. <laughs> okay. Can you share kind of your personal fight song or your key motivators, things that you really use to keep you going strong and staying in that really empowered, positive direction? I'll go first. Go, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> I think that the fact that I, um, I love the, the whole business of voiceover. You know, the auditioning is fun. Um, getting the copy is fun. Yeah, the best part's when you book, but I think you have to just actually love every step of the way. Not, it, to me, it's, none of it's unpleasant. Um, even if I, I get an audition, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, well, you know who would be really good for this? Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think you're right. I mean, I don't mean to sound so Pollyanna, but we... We're not really backstabbers in the VO biz, right? No. no you so guys, I just yeah. love the whole Amazing. business, and that makes me keep love going. it, Debbie. Love it. Absolutely. What if I was up for Miss America? Hi. My biggest, my biggest. My state pageant is North Hollywood. That's right. Hi, Miss Toluca Lake. <laughs> Lip gloss on my teeth. <laughs> no. Uh, one of the things that I think is so important is to just have like a full, big, rich life. You know. I think we talked about that when I was on the show, is that, um, you know, our job, right, all of us in this room who are doing voiceovers and stuff is to like have, you know, is to have a full rich life, is to be happy, is to go out and, you know, your job is auditioning and showing up and taking class, um, teaching class, starting a workout group, and you know, if you get the job, that's great, you know, and that's, that's part of your job, though, is to show up and not like sort of demand, this business doesn't owe us anything, and sometimes I get like, dun, dun, dun. When I think about that, it's like, oh my God. But like, right? But we just show up, you just show up and do your best and let go of the results and have like a good, try to have a good day every day, which is not, you know, sometimes you're like, I don't want to have this day. But, <laughs> but you do anyway. Try not to have this day. But if you have this day, you put it into your work, right? Yeah, totally. yeah. Okay, Thanks, Laura. that's what I say. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. Okay. okay, right? So, Kari. Well, I find, uh, I find the voiceover field just very... Car, your hair looks great. Oh, my gosh, so thank you. She's Miss North Hollywood. Wow, you know, and I was just going to say that, like, <laughs> it's not about looks. Wow, well, hi. Uh, gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. So it's not about looks in voiceover. Uh, now, the, the really great thing, though, it's, it's a very empowering field, I think, for women because uh, it's, it's not age-based. You know, you can work June Foray, want to won an Emmy in her right. 90s. 90s, 90s, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's not look-based. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what you look like. I mean, I, I play babies. I play grandmothers. Uh, and you play my baby. I do play your baby. She play my baby. I play her baby. She does. I do. It's, it's really great. She plays Ivor, my baby. <laughs> Huggle Monsters. Do it. Oh, Ivor. I love you. I do boys. <laughs> so, uh, and Debbie does boys. And Debbie little boys. does boys, little boys. And we're veering. We're veering. And, and we're coming back. And we're, we're coming, coming back. back to the truck. Aaron. Okay, so, so yeah, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> you can do a lot of things in voiceover. <laughs> Aaron, bring it home, my girl. Bring it home, my girl. Well, can we just, can we just huge shout out to all the women who are writing in this industry now, directing in this industry, bringing it in the animation voiceover field. Just holla to my sisters, first of all. Uh, in answer to your question, the only thing I can think of is, is I like to surround myself with some fierce women, with some fierce talent, because it's being around women who I think are phenomenal that makes me want to be more phenomenal. You know, it pulls up my socks. It makes me go, I got to work harder. I want to do more. I want to play. I want to play with these ladies. You know what I mean? Like when I get to sit there and watch you do what you do. I'm always like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm in this room. Did you see what she just did? Did you see what she just did? You know, like it's insane. It's insane. It's such an amazing 
thing that women get to play with women in such a positive, uplifting manner yeah. where Support we can be sister. like, we love you. Yeah. And holler to Michelle Dico, who is here. Holler to you too, girl. You know, like it's, yeah. it's a hard, hard business. Get down, baby. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna fun it up a little bit, okay? We got three minutes. In your favorite character voice, what do you love about yourself? Go, Dairyberry. Oh, let's see. Well, I was asking Jimmy Neutron the other day what he liked about me, and he said that you're really short and bossy. So I, I don't want to use up all your time, but there you go. Got a blast. <laughs> um, well, I pearl the whale, and I really like that I'm loud and inappropriate and really goofy and over the top like a lot of the time. <laughs> oh, daddy. <laughs> You know, I like that I own my power. I like that I have my power and that I want my power. I like that I take life by the balls and squeeze. <laughs> well, Stacy, to answer your question, I just want to say that other than being obviously rad awesome, <laughs> I like my enthusiasm, right, Mom? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Thanks you for guys, coming. Thank you so awesome. much. All thank right. you for what you Let's bring. Hear Let's hear it again for Debbie Derryberry, Lori Allen, Harry Waldron, right, and right. Aaron. Wow, that was, come on. Woo! That was crazy.